Hello there folks, this is your host and friend Normandy Junction, welcome you back for another episode of Building the Olympic Sash Titanic. And once again I'm going to concentrate on and finish the grand staircase of the boat deck. We're going to do the stairwell today, but once again, once so all, thank you once all for joining me in this another episode, as well as all my subscribers and current subscribers and new subscribers as well. I noticed a little surge in the subscribe rate, which is great, thank you very much for all for joining on this journey. But let's get down to business. Okay, <coughs> you'll have to excuse me, I'm still getting a feeling a bit sore throaty, so but I'm gonna soldier on. But let's get to the grand staircase. Like I said, we're gonna do the stairwell today, which is the famous staircase where obviously you know in the film Titanic, Jack and Rose, Rose is at the top, Jack comes down in his nice suit and her in a nice dress. But hey ho, that's the film. This is the build. Right. Now you will find out when we get low into the text, it's gonna get a little bit more dark now, guys. So randomly just place, I'd say, just sea lanterns in random directions also helps the build and the recording as well so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to come to, well you've got to face the bow, come to the left hand side you'll see this staircase here. We need to focus on this wall here guys. Okay so what you need is oak wood. Now what we're going to do first is take, take away these, at least two of these blocks here. These two here so that's basically one there and one there okay and there's a reason for that as well okay so let me just get my bearings make sure everything's correct yep that is fine and the next stage is you need to get smooth stone slab now the bottom left of this corner here put down six blocks this is basically oh sorry this right one so that's one two three four five six so it lines up nicely there and on the other side you get quartz slabs uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like this. Okay, well, we'll be replacing this block here. In fact, we'll do it now. So if, if we come to this side here, all you need is a brown terracotta. So we'll just remove one block there, put it there. One block there. As you can see what I'm doing, once again, I'll put some random sea lanterns so you can see that's a lot better. Uh, basically, we're just replacing this first line going around the outside, well, the inside of the entire grand staircase. So what I mean by that is like that one there. One and make sure it overlaps as well. There you go. So I'll move that one. Like I say, I'll do this half first, but the other half is exactly the same. Okay, so let's continue on here. So there's a block there, a block there, a block there. And once again, I'll put a sea lantern randomly. I uh, might be doing this a lot now as soon as we go down the further in the decks. Hence why the need for uh, loads of sea lanterns. So let's just place that one, that one. There we go. And this continue, remove this entire section here and replace it with a brown terracotta. I mean, if you want to do it with wood, by all means, that's absolutely fine. But I just like to have a nice break in between. Okay, so returning to the build. So what you need to do now is get brown concrete, which is right there, and put a two here there. Okay, so continuing on. Now, I've already got the slabs there, so we just need to put another two. Uh, one, two, one, two, like that. I, and you need to repeat that at least one, two, three, four, five times. So we've done two here. So the next two will be like this. There you go. And then down again. And down again. There we go. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're going down five sets. Let me check my notes. That's absolutely fine. Yep, we're all good. And the next stage as well is get your smooth stone slab and each one is requiring six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. six. And get your squat slab. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, that's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Just done a double there. There we go. On to the next step. Just pull it right across. And so forth. And so forth. There we go. And then get your brown. Not terracotta concrete. So that's one, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two. Okay, so like I say it's still dark. So I'll put a little seal onto there. Just to brighten it up. Okay, so in the anti you join this all up now. So get your oak wood. So you just need to put a block underneath this one here. So it joins up here. Uh, next section, 
is here. Uh, so that's a bit too late. Oh, it's this one here. So as we're joining, we're joining up these pillars, guys. So that one remove. There you go. And then get your brown concrete once again. Remove these slabs. And just basically fill it to the bottom. Like this. Like I say, if you need want to answer any questions, feel free to send me a message. Uh, be happy to answer it. Any questions you want, if I can answer them. <laughs> okay, so it should look like this. So we are going to get a bit of a steps here. So we're going to start filling it in now. We're going to do the center bit. So once again, you need to do, just do like a two like this. Now this is the center bit here. This is going to be the center of the grand staircase. And in total, let me check how many blocks it is. I think it's five, four, four blocks across. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four. And then this is the center. If I put a sea lantern there to light it up, that'll be the center. And yes, it is correct. In fact, what I'll do, I'll put on a light there. Let's make sure we get this right. And then you do a fire, and then in one, two, three, four. Four on the other side. One, two, three, four. And then, well, you need to go up two. So like I say, you repeat the process. That's a two, 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 five twos in total. So that's one. I do a three, but remove the end block there. And that one again, and again, and one more time. So we're moving these two blocks here. So it should line up flushly with the next other side, which is great. In fact, what we'll do while we're waiting here, I'll just quickly replace this uh, terracotta section. Let me see I've done this right. Okay, yeah, so let's remove that. And apologies if you can't see very much. Like I say, it is getting quite dark. Probably should have done start from the bottom, work my way up. But hey ho. Live and learn. Oh, there it is. Remove that one. I'll just pull a block there so we we'll see what we're doing. Here we go. Uh, like I say, um, yeah, thank you for all for the new subscribers. It, uh, I was amazed to see how many I was getting. I'm thinking I'm over the 650 mark. So thank you so much for joining on me. But like I say, I do these videos when I can, mostly in my spare time. I work full time, and this is a hobby for me. But I, do, I am fully intent to get it done for this year, hopefully. <laughs> But it take what it takes. One, two, three, four. Like I say, I think nobody, I don't think anybody's done like a guide of a build this big before, so I feel quite proud about that. If there is someone out there, let me know. I'd be love to learn some new tips. Right, so get your oak wood again, and once again replace that block, basically where the pillars are, and that block as well. And go down two, go down again. There we go. And get your brown concrete and start filling the gaps. Remove the slabs and fill in the gaps. One. There you go. And up we go. There we go. Done. Right. And we just need to fill in the center block here as well. Uh, put one there. Okay. Keep going. That brown terracotta. Okay, let's fill it in the center here and remove any slabs as well and blocks. There we go, so that's filling in nicely. And uh, let's fill this side here. Like I say, I try to do my instructions as best I can. I'm not like technical minded, this is purely for my imagination. I just let it flow. Right, so that is should now complete. So we're going to bring these pillows down now, guys. So what you need is, let me just find it if I can find it. I think it's the stone walls, isn't it? Uh, yeah, walls. Uh, which one did I use again? Oh yeah, it was the end stone brick wall. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Uh, for what I'll do, that. I'll get rid of that brown terracotta. Okay, so what you need to do is just remove those old blocks and the slabs as well. There we go. Uh, basically, all we're doing basically is we're going to put one, remove this slab, put a block. Move that slab, put a block. Basically, we're just repeating the process. Put a block there and a block there. Because I say, I think the Olympic, uh, in the 1930s, it was actually painted green, which was kind of stylish at the time. But looking at the photos, it looks bloody horrendous. So we're sticking to the traditional design of the staircase. Well, Titanic's time. Okay. Don't ask me to do this in green. It just put me ill. There we go. So it should look like that. 
Okay, hopefully. Like I say, doing the center clock is quite difficult in Minecraft. Like I say, you're very limited for blocks, so that is going to be done for your imagination, guys. I'm sorry, I know it's a bit of a cop-out, but it's the best way to resolve it. Right, so get your quartz slabs again. Um, starting from this block here, two, three, uh, that's five, and that block. Okay, you need to go out by at least one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So what I mean by that is that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's the same for the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join it up. And I think I've gone too far out. Yeah, I have. Get rid of that. So that's six blocks. Depth. There we go. And just fill it all in. There we go. Now, you will start need to remove some, some of these blocks as well. But we won't be doing that just yet. So let's just continue here. So what we'll do next, we'll do the other side. So start with the smooth stone. Go for the bottom of this block here so that's one two three three four five six that's uh, six blocks and we'll do the skate the same again but we'll be five here so that's one two three 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 four miss a block and five and this next one is a six that's one two three four five six and this one's a five one two three four five and this one's a six one two three four five six and then what you need to do next is get your quartz slab one, two, three, four, five, six. And same again, just fill in the gaps, repeat the process. Uh, there you go. And building this myself was a lot of trial and error, so it has taken me several goals to get this absolutely right how I wanted it. Right, so brown concrete again. So I just put one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. So just Okay, a sea lantern on there. Okay, so it's all on there for you. So it's a sea lantern just there. Okay, so it should look like this. Looks pretty good. All right, next stage is now we need to do the railings of going upwards. So what you do need is iron bars. Okay. And I'll put that there. Okay, so first stage here, start in the center. You need to go up by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. And then, it, I'm just double check my notes, guys. Yeah, that's fine. It's the same on the other side. So that's one, two, three, four. No, oh, sorry. Four. <laughs> if I, actually, we'll leave the railings to last. Let's get the bottom of the staircase done here. Right. So what you need next is actually light gray concrete blocks. Now, go to the center, which is this block here. Build a block just directly underneath, remove that one, and you need to go out by four on each side. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're going down to the next step. And what you need now is your slabs. So basically, you're going all the way across, like that. And the next step down is light gray concrete. Put a block underneath, block in front. And once again, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the next step done. So we should have done four steps by now. Okay. And the next stage. Let's double check my notes. So it's grey. Yep. 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 And it's smooth. And it's a slaps again. So it's another step going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. So nine in total. Uh, oh, don't know why I'm doing that. Get ahead of myself. So it should look like this. So if we come to the side. So it's a grey concrete block. Then the slab, grey concrete slab. Right, next stage is you get your grey concrete again. Put go on the centre block, come in by one, but this time you need to put a second block in, and you need to go out by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Same again. One, two, three, four, five. Same on this side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it should look like that. A bit more wider. So the next stage is a you just a slab one this time. So I've got a slab in the center. And you're going out by five. But just the single lines. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And the other side is one, two, three, four, five. But get your oak wood and put one on the side here and one on the other side. Go up by four. So that's one, two, three, four. 
Okay. Actually, is that right? Hang on. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, it was a brown concrete at the bottom. I do apologise. Brown concrete. And then up by four. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's double check if one, two, three, four. Yes, that's fine. All right, on to the next stage. Right, so we're getting there. Okay, so after that slab, after the slabs, we're going to do some more grey concrete. So we'll go in the centre again, come out by one. Okay, so what you need to do next is go straight across by six on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the centre bit there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we're going down again. Uh, just a single line again. So we'll come into the centre, which is here. And uh, we're going at three, six, hang on. Three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Right, next stage is grey concrete. And this is the bottom of the step now. So it's single block there, one block going out. And you need to go outwards. Let me check my notes again. Six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it eight? Three, six, seven, eight. Three, six, seven. I'll check my notes, guys. Sorry about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start the centre. Which is. So I'll put a. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God's sake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, so you lose track. You see where the centre line is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Alright, so what you need to do next is just basically put a line straight across it on the centre, on the front of it, just like that. Okay, so the next one is you're actually going to need stone, let me just check my, check, check my notes here, stone slabs. Okay, so, uh, sorry, smooth stone slabs. And all you need to do, is that right? No, it's not, so I do apologise. It's your normal quartz slab, so you basically put one at the end here, one at the end there, and you pull it straight across. Okay, so it looks like this. And then you get your smooth stone slab. But what you need to do, start from this side, do a two, one, two, and then pull it right across. Like that. Okay, so I'll put a lantern there so we can see. I will get, get rid of these lanterns. But there you go, that's how, that's how the staircase is. So what we need to do now is the center. So starting uh, with a wood block, or uh, oak wood, from this block here, remove the slab, put a block there and go up by four. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next one is located, uh, not this one, not the gray, not this one, not the slab, not the gray. It's the next one here. So remove the center one, which is here. One, two, three, four, five. So there's a gap of five in between. And what you need to do is replace each block with basically, there you go, uh, brown concrete. So it should look like that. And we'll go one, check my notes again. So we should have a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we do. Um, so basically from this wood block here, go up the staircase. That's one, two, three, four, five and replace this block. And this one is just wood, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay. Right, so what we need to do now is actually go, we put our brown concrete on. So start from this block here. Basically, you just go around down the edge. So that's one there, and there'll be two there, two there, two there, two there, one there, and one there and one here okay so we're not really at the bottom yet i'll put another sea lantern there so we'll see what we're doing and what we need to do next is join it all up so what i mean by that is get your brown concrete again so starting from this two put one block here and then we'll look at the next one we will put a block there and there and then 
we'll put a block here and there and that one yeah we'll overlap that one and we'll overlap this one as well and then we need to just basically fill that gap in there if actually we'll be all right just remove the two blocks here so basically it's a one a two a three come out it's a four come out it's a three and then a two hope my instructions are okay guys all right so this next bit so we're going to do the same for the opposite side so starting under this section here of the oh uh, the brown concrete put a single block here and then I just need to double check myself so it's a two and a three okay so go underneath so it's two and then it's three okay and now same again so we need to go out by two from this section here basically one here one here and then come back to this one and we join it up so it's like a four basically four and then go down here again so we're going out by two. One, two, and then so we'll check the notes here. Two, yeah, it's a two. I feel like my instructions are really confused in this video, guys. Uh, I have to play it back a few times. So we're going up by two. Okay, so it's one there and one underneath. Okay, and then it's a two outward. One, two. There you go. So that's the bottom. Now we're going to go outwards because obviously there was a section, this is the section here leading into the next section of the staircase. So we start at, let me just get my notes ready. So that's the floor, that's the bottom. Alright, so this could be the bottom bit here. So we'll put a brown concrete there. Obviously I'll put it downwards here, it'll look a bit silly. There we go. There we are. Oh, as well, folks, see these uh, grey lines here? Replace it with quartz pillars. Uh, basically from frame this frame here just behind the staircase and obviously to the start the beginning of the staircase there'll be a reason that for that as well which I'll tell you in another video right okay right so what we need to do next now so we've done a single one there uh, so so we need to go out one two three four five so let's jump check my notes here one, three four five okay so that's one two three four five and it should be flush. Yes, it's flush with this part here with the with the brown terracotta. Then we go inwards, and we're going inwards by at least nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll put on a sea lantern there. Okay, so that should be flush now. Yes, it is. Well, next one we need to do an oak wood block, and we go up by four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we're going up again. But obviously we'll need our walls back here. Hang on guys, let me just get the uh, right uh, end stone brick wall. That's the one. Place that one. So that one goes up by four. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. And then it should line up there. So it's, so it's a five. Okay, so let me just double check that. So that's five. In fact, just two minutes guys. I'm just going to fly over to the Titanic. Very much normally do my videos. <laughs> so if you just bear with me. Let me just check this is right. Yeah, one below the terracotta, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's right. Phew. I do get it right sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes. In fact, I've flown out the wrong direction. There you go. Here we go. Come back up this way again. Should get used to flying around the ship by now. Still getting confused by it. Right, here we go. Back for the Olympic. Right, so, so that's absolutely fine. So watch again, you need to oak wood. Go for this corner here. So that's five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And get your brown concrete and join it up here. And then what you do next is get your iron bars and fill in the center that which I'm quite hard to do sometimes there you go so that should look like this and get your endstone brick wall and go up by five one two three four five and get a wood block and joins up there there we go so it's the same for the other side as well folks okay so but I say I won't fill in that here in fact I might, might as well let's do it come on so it's one two three four so that's one two three four 
and that one, and then go out by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, a wood block, and go up by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ground concrete, go straight across, and then get your fence panels. In fact, I'll put a light there so we can see what's going on. And once again, get your iron bars. Uh, panels and iron bars, I always find the hardest to do. It's hard to get the line right sometimes, so it should look like that. So get your brick wall. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Block there and a block there. Excellent. So the next stage, what we need to do is do up the rest of the uh, the build going upwards with the with the fencing. Well, the iron bars, the panelling, whatever you want to call it. So we'll start from here. So it's a gap of three. So it's one, two, three. You need to replace that one with oak. So it's once again one, two, three, four. Get your brown concrete. Go straight across. In fact, I'll do the same for the other side. One, two, three. So it's this block here. Oops, done too much. So it's one, two. Very trigger happy. One, two, three, four. There we go. Go straight across here and then fill in the in middle of the center spot with your iron bars. There you go, so it should look like that. So, what we need to do now is basically each one of these brown concretes, each one, you're going to have a gap of three. What I mean is this one, two, three for your iron bars. Okay, but what I tend to do. As I say, we just need to go one step at a time. So, go, because obviously we're going up steps here. One, two, three. And you put one on top. One, two, three, one on top. And then remove them. Then get your iron bars and fill in the gap. Okay. And then this next one. One, two, three. Remove. Then fill it in there. Now, obviously, there's a gap there, but I will be filling in. I'm just showing how I do it to go up first, guys. Okay. So, next one. One, two, three. Block here. One, two, three. Block here. So, move these blocks. Join it up. And fill it in. Put the one down so we can see what we're doing. Does anybody only like mods to, like, to see in the dark or something? There we go. So that's joined up there. Right, on to the next one. I'll put my one down here. Right, uh, so they've got a three here. So I'll go, I'll start from this side. So that's one, two, three, block at the top. Then remove the three. Going straight across. And fill it in with iron bars. Okay, and um, this section here is basically work. It's put one, so I messed it up at one, two, and a three, and put a block at the top. At the top, there we go. And it's the same for this side as well. So there we go. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, and this side is one, two, three, and a block here. Right, so start, it's starting to take shape, but obviously we, are, we have got gaps to fill in. So here we go again. So that's, we've got a single block here. So that's one, two, three, block at the top. One, one, two, three, block at the top. Uh, so we go across. And that one is a two. So we can just go upwards, two. And then another two. No. And then another two. There you go. And we could just fill in the center here with the iron bars, which is a little easier, so to speak. There we go. Like I say, if you've got any questions, guys, feel free to like in the comments. Sorry. Um, 
make a note in the comments and I'll try to get that to you as quick as I can. So it should look like this now. So we are getting there. So we just need to repeat the process for the other side, but I'll do that in a jump cut because there's no point with me doing it all over again. But we're going to fill in these gaps now. All right, so what you need to do is get your brown concrete. So this one, obviously, we need to go outward and this one as well because this is still attached to the bottom one there. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then any gaps on the bars at the top, you just put in with, with a brown concrete block. I can't get my words out today. So it should look like this. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but there is ways we're going to improve it. So let's do the center one now. So once again, we just need to replace all these blocks of brown concrete. So that's that one gone, that one gone, that one gone, that one gone. And it's the same process again. We go up by one, two, three, and a fourth block. Uh, one, two, three, and a fourth block. Okay, so you just need to follow the pattern at the bottom. So here, we've got a three. So let's go up. One, two, three. So that's a gap there. Two, three outwards and one two three block there block there and we're on the next one so it's one two and then let's turn it one two three there and then put a block there because i need to go up so that obviously a two there we go and then start filling in the center any way you can easier gone this way there we go all done so the center should be exactly like this now so what I'm gonna do is gonna do a quickly jump cut while I finish this left hand side so like I say the formula is a gap of a brown concrete a gap of three no matter which step you're going on you just follow that pattern okay so I'll be back in a moment guys right so after that it should look like this sort of a grand staircase but you know it's, it is what it is but we're going to tidy it up a little bit now so what i mean by this is you get a quartz slab on each of the wood pillar just put a slab on there just for it's, it's for decoration basically okay so one there one there and one there and one there and one there none there one here and one there Right. Oh, and here. There. Done. Right. So on to the next section now. So underneath the step here, you should have a gap, which is roughly about there. Get your light grey concrete. Start with that wood pillar and start going right across like this. Okay. Basically, you're going underneath the quartz where the quartz line is. So it should look like a bit of a jagged edge then there. Uh, but you don't touch the brown concrete. You don't touch that one. So, uh, so like I say, it should fill out just there. Go back one there. Okay, so this is why you can start taking bits out only behind it. In fact, I'll make a line here for you. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two. We can just remove these sections for now. But I haven't done it on the other side, so like I say, just say so we go down another deck, another bar, bare, empty deck. Won't be for much longer. Okay, so now we're just going to add a little bit of decoration to it so what you need is you get some of your fences go for dark oak fence i like the dark oak you can have anything you want but go for the dark oak i like that one so in the center there's basically this block here actually you need to remove the quartz i'm sorry about that so it's one two three and then one to the left and one to the right and then you need to get your torch so I'll place that one, so that'll go on to one, two, three. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's the thing that I think we can get the closest to it. And then I have on the skin pack with the trapdoors, I've got this lovely one with the oak trapdoor. Uh, put one there and close it, one there and close it, and then close it, one there and close it, one there, and that close it, and that close it. In fact, with these as well, with your lanterns as well, the sea lanterns, guys. What you do need to do is start putting them on like this because I have started to do it on the Titanic as well because it is getting a bit to the bit of the design and it's what I have in the skin pack as well. So on each one of them, you can fill that in as well if you can. But once again, you don't have to do that. This is purely 
for decoration for my part anyway okay so onwards the build so what we need to do now you need a monster spawner uh, let me find it in my inventory okay now on each of these panels i'll see there was the center you need to find the center block so this will be nine blocks long you need to find the fifth one so that's one two three four five remove the center of the iron bar i put the monster spawner in it and once again with that trap door close it and close it okay and it's the same with this one so let's remove the center one get your monster spawner and then close it as well there we go so i'll do the same for this side get your monster spawner again so it's that center one there replace it and then it's all oh, works where the sea lance is that's good thank you very much <laughs> mr sea lantern and get your trap door close that one and get your trap door and close that one there you go that side and that side okay so like i say if you want to change in this design guys feel right this is just the basic design which i have for the staircase so I'm just going to do the last three monster spawners now so i think let me find the center of this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's just one, two, three, four, six here. So one goes here. Okay. And so same again. So that's one, two, three, four. Hang on. One, two, three, four. It's the fifth one. This one here. And close that one. Close that one. Same on the other side. Okay, there we go. So that's that one done. And there's some in the centre here as well. So let's get your monster spawner again. So that's dead in the middle there. Very easy to find. Same again. There we go. So that's two done. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right, so we're looking good. So what's next? What's next? Oh yeah, down here, sorry. Uh, so let's find one, two, three, four, five. So it should be about here. There we go. And this is a bit tricky to do because you've got two sides exposed here. So I'll go on the right. All right to be on the safe side, guys, we could just leave that one blank. Okay, because it just won't make sense if I need the right iron bar. Oh, I got rid of it. I wish they put more um, items in your inventory. So, because you only got, what is it, three, six, nine? You only got nine. But you need more. Right, so that's me enough ranted. So, what you need to do now to finish off is get a quartz slab. Right, starting from this corner here, just go around the entire edge. Basically, up to the grey concrete, go underneath it as well. So, we're creating. Basically, this is going to start the floor, and you can take it all the way around. I'll leave that sea lantern in there for now, so that can do that there. And what you need next, let's just double check everything, is go back to your slabs. Uh, for me, it's the red never brick slab, but also this is the skin pack I've got as well, because this is the closest I've got. Smooth stone does it look quite nice, so let's get all if you want to get rid of that. So I'll put that there. Around the outside. I mean, it, it's the closest. I mean, you'd never saw like bricks on a ship, obviously, because the ship would sink because of the buoyancy. It'd be too uh, heavy top. But this is as close as I've got to the pattern of the Grand Staircase staircase floor, guys. It's the best we have. Just gotta make do what we got. There we go. So we'll just leave that there, there for now. And if you want to, you can just add another quartz slab. In fact, we will do. Let's see. Here we go. All right. So we've got one more thing to do, and that is done for the video. So, like I say, if you like what you see so far, please let me know. Uh, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. It does help the channel grow. Okay. So what we're going to do now is you need to get uh, sandstone slabs. Okay. So we need to look underneath the staircase here right so basically what you need to do is cover 
all the slabs you see, which are quartz and smooth stone. I mean, this is the best sort of roof I can get for underneath it, really. Okay, and the same again. Same again. And you can cover the grey concrete as well. But don't do the brown concrete. Okay, you leave that one blank. So that one here. I thought what I could do, guys, we can get. But I'll just remove these blocks here. To where it touches the floor there. Okay, so we can remove these ones. Get ready for the next floor down, which will be B deck. I don't know when that don't know when that video is going to come be. We've still got the boat deck to still to do. So let's remove all the slabs that are touching the grey concrete. There we go. So it should be blank there now. Yes, it is. Okay. So we can get rid of those three. Three lines full. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's continue. This is basically because we don't want to see all those all these lines and gone grey concrete. So we'll have to cover them up. So let's cover all these ones up here. Straight across. Like I say, I'm sorry if my instructions are not clear enough, because I do struggle uh, being a bit dyslexic myself. It's all in my mind, it's very hard for where the brain talks to the mouth. Okay, so it should look like this. So, and then we just go to the side here. So we'll start off with this one. Now, doing the steps here, only do the quartz. And I'm going to tell you reason reason for that as well. So let's do that one there, line there. That line done. And that line done. In fact, yeah, we know, is it that one? Yes, that's fine. Yep. What you need to do as well, folks. Yeah, remember your, um, in fact, we'll just use break brown concrete for now. Uh, where this wood, well, basically where this bl wood block is here. Uh, give me one second. Yep, checking my notes. So remove this line as well. So we could just put great brown concrete. Move that one, move that one, move that one, and that one. And it'll be the same for the other side. So we can join it all up. So it's this one here. Move, move. Have I taken out the right block here? Yes, I have. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, guys, my Twitter is going a bit crazy at the minute. Okay, right, so we're moving on. So, once again, just do the quartz slabs. That's one, two, three, four. There you go. Fill that line in as well. Try not to do a double slab, which I've just done. There we go. Now to finish off. Okay. So that's absolutely fine there. Now, now like I say, we'll use cut sandstone slabs. Well, I mean, you can use any other slab you want. Uh, hang on a second. Sandstone stairs. We're going to go for smooth sandstone stairs. Okay, now you just need to fill in, basically aim for, this, aim for the smooth stone and fill it in like this. So it goes underneath there, it goes underneath there, it goes underneath there, there on there. There you go, now the other side. Like this, like I say, it is, it's great the right angle sometimes, it is hard. But hey, hope we keep going. We soldier on. Okay, there we are. Done. And we're just going to fill up. Basically, we're going to get rid of these horrible grey lines here. So remove the sl the slabs here. Basically, the ones touching the grey concrete and the wood. And just put the smooth stone there. The smooth stone staircase stairs. There we go. There we go, and I think we do do it for the bottom bit. Let me check my notes. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and these little gaps here, guys. We can just put 
Uh, oh, what do we put in my notes again? Oh, we'll just put, to be on the safe side, we'll put brown concrete, just fill them in nicely. There we go, done. Right. Oh, yes, yes, we just need to replace that one there. There we go. And I think we are done. Just double check everywhere. Yes, we are. We are done. And to start off on the next level, really, I mean, what you could do... But no, I best leave it for now. I mean, you could technically get your brown concrete and start working your way down to the next level here. But we're not on A deck anymore. We're still on the boat deck. All right, so just put a line there for now. And then we can start working on that and the next and next time we, get, we enter this level. God knows when that's going to be. But there you go, guys. That is my... Quick guide of doing the grand stair, grand stair, grand staircase, grand staircase stairwell. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you liked it, give it a like or dislike. If you didn't like it, uh, by all means, let me know if I could do it better for you. Or oh, like I say, tell me what you think. So I'm gonna leave you, leave you now, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, take care of yourself.